Hey guys, welcome back. This is Professor Inc. And in this video, we're going to continue our discussion on C++ 11 features that you might not have learned or that you might have forgotten about because maybe you haven't used them in a while. So let's get started. And in this video, we're going to talk about delegated constructors. All right. And so this concept of delegated constructors is something that um, Java has had or had had for quite a while. It was always kind of a feature that I wish that C++ uh, had sooner, but they finally added it in C++11. So it's been around for a while now, uh, but maybe you just haven't used it or you forgot or whatever, or you didn't learn. So let's dig into it and see what it is and uh, how we can use it. So let us say that you were writing a class Okay, and we'll call that class uh, foo. Okay, and let's say that you're going to have a default constructor and you're going to have an overloaded constructor. And the logic for both constructors was basically the same with maybe one minor detail. Okay, so you might do something like this. Let's say that for whatever reason, this is going to be a class that stores characters. Okay, and so you uh, create your default constructor to initialize, again, for whatever reason, um, for whatever reason, you initialize it to, or create it to initialize X, Y, and Z uh, to um, exclamation point, okay? Um, but you have a need for an overriding constructor Right, that is going to want to initialize X and Y to exclamation point, but Z is going to be uh, different. Okay, so then you might do something like this uh, X equals Y equals blah, and then you say um, this Z set to Z. Right, so now you can use either one of these constructors uh, to initialize it in a couple of different ways. Now let's add a friend um, extraction or uh, overloaded, yeah, stream extraction operator. Uh, let's see here. So, operator. Do, do, do. We'll do this guy. Uh, const foo, and we'll call this f. Okay, and all that's going to do is just take um, the characters and put them in the stream. So I meant to say stream insertion operator. Okay, so we'll do something like this. We'll say, uh, put it in there, just so we can see the output. Okay, do something like that. Okay, so now that gives us a couple of different options to, um, oops, forgot my dyf dot. Uh, to do our object, right? To, to create our object. So uh, let's go ahead and make a foo alpha and we'll see out alpha. And then we'll do a foo beta, right? And I'll pass to its constructor um, Z, right? So then we'll do that and then we'll see out beta. Okay, now let's take a look at the output. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. Let me double check that you can. Yeah, you can, there you go. Uh, so you can see that we can use this in a couple of different ways, right? Now, here's the problem. Okay, this kind of violates the dry principle, the don't repeat yourself principle. You don't wanna be duplicating code. Code duplication is usually very gross. So one way you can get around this would be to make a private initializer method. You know, something like this. Okay. And then you just have foo call init. And then um, you have foo call init, right? So now that logic for that default, that default initialization doesn't get duplicated in uh, two places, right? It's just in the init method itself, okay? 
and that's what you had to do before C++11 came along. All right, but now with delegated constructors, okay, you don't even have to do that. Okay, we can get rid of that private init method, and what we'll do is we'll use syntax that is similar to um, when you're invoking a parent constructor, you know, like if this was, if class foo was inheriting from someone else, right? So you could do something like this. And this is really cool, I dig it, okay? We can use this syntax just like that, okay? So what, is, what does that do? Well, when the overloaded constructor gets invoked, then it calls the default constructor or whichever constructor you specify here. In this case, we only have the two constructors just to you know, keep it simple and give you an example. And they're both doing silly things just for the example. But that causes the uh, default constructor to get called first. And so then x equals y equals z will be assigned uh, the exclamation point. And then the uh, overloaded constructor will assign or overwrite that exclamation point with the, the z argument. Okay, so it's just maybe a cleaner. And so there you go, you can see the output is exactly the same. So that is the idea of delegated constructors. Okay, so silly little feature, but it, it gives you some options for your toolbox to be maybe a little bit more expressive and a little bit more concise. Uh, it's 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 an option that you have to make your code just that much more neat, right? And it's something that I think uh, C++ 11 stole from Java along with um, range-based for loops, for example. So um, it's cool. I'm glad that they added it into the language. And so there you go. Another feature that you might have forgotten about or that you never learned uh, originally. So that's everything that I have for you in this video. If you liked the video, please consider a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, then you got a thumbs down as well. Please consider supporting the channel in multiple ways. You can leave a comment, you can subscribe, you can join membership, you can all kinds of different ways, right? Check the description uh, below. Okay, that's everything I have for you this week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.